Hello everyone, how are you guys doing today? In this video, I will be showing you how to build a Pythagorean Theorem Calculator. So, if I refresh and then enter in 3 and 4 for my B and A value, and then hit enter, it'll print out 5. So, let me explain how the Pythagorean Theorem works. So, you have to give the length of your A side and your B side, and it'll calculate those two to get your hypotenuse which is the longest side of a right triangle so 3 squared and 4 squared if you add those two together you'll get 25 and if you take the square root of 25 you'll get 5 so yeah I hope you guys are excited on building this project because I am first we're gonna delete all of our code and start from scratch so I can explain to you guys how to build this project line by line so first we'll I'll type enter an exclamation mark then hit enter which brings up our boilerplate code which is all this and then inside my body tag I will create an h1 which says heading well its ID will be heading and then Pythagorean theorem and then BR which just makes it go onto a new line calculator so if I refresh all that goes away except these text then and then next I'll just make this full screen I'll create a container and give an ID of container and inside of that container div I'll create an IMG tag and give it an ID of triangle an alternative text of triangle as well and for my source my image source will be in this tab right here which I saved it in I'll just copy and paste it into this scroll back and now we have our triangle but it's too big we'll resize it once we get to the CSS right now we'll just work on the HTML and then after that I'll create two input fields so input times two I'm gonna put them on different lines and space it out a little bit and then for the first input the ID will be a input so ID equals a input and I'll give it a placeholder of a that's it just a and I'll do the same thing for B so placeholder equals B ID equals B input and then once we're done with that we'll create a div yeah we'll create a div and give an ID of result and we'll just leave it blank because you'll see why once we get to the JavaScript part and then for my button I'll give it an ID of button since that's going to be the only button we'll be we'll be creating in this project and that's it for the HTML we can get started with the CSS and then we'll do the JavaScript last so to get started with the CSS I'm going to type my two style tags and then my first style will be this universal sign and then the two sets of curly braces this will style everything on our web page so that's why I'm using it so everything will have a position of relative and then after that I'll style my triangle image so ID triangle with 230 pixels display flex align self center and then after that I'll do margin auto and for the body I'll give it a dark background color so well that dark reddish that rusty red color so background color hashtag 932 it's sort of like the color of the surface of Mars and then for my input I'm gonna style its placeholders how I do that is by typing input in these two columns text align center font weight bold and color black for my input for my first input I meant for all of my inputs I'm gonna give them a width of 40 pixels and then for my B input I'm gonna move it left 330 pixels and then top 20 pixels and then after that I'll style my button just give it a width of 70 pixels so it's a little bit bigger 
And then for my result div, let me go on to a new line and then type result. It's going to be width 40 pixels, background color white, text align, center position relative, font weight bold, font family sans serif. And we're done with all of our CSS for now. Except we also have to move our heading to the center and make it white. So we'll do that right now. And we forgot to name our button, which will just be calculate. And our heading, it will be white. So color white and text align center. Now let's look at it again. Perfect. Except our A input isn't where it should be. We have to move it left 235 pixels and bottom 100 pixels. Perfect. And we just need to move our calculate button. Whoops. Um, let me open it back up. There we go. Uh, we'll worry about this later. For now, for now I'm going to go to the JavaScript. So I'm going to type script and then I'll do var button equals document dot get element by ID and the ID of the button was button. And then I'll call a function named calculate hypotenuse. You can name it anything you want, but I'm going to call it that. And inside that function, I'll do var a equals document dot get element, not a capital L, but document dot get element by ID and it was the ID was a input and then I have to type dot value so it will take whatever value we typed into the input we'll do the same thing for B so document dot get element by ID B input dot value and we'll do var result equals document dot get element by ID Result, so we're storing our result element in a variable in JavaScript that we can access once we need to use it. And then for the hypotenuse, I'm going to set a variable called hypotenuse and say math.round. And then inside of those set of parentheses, I'll do math.square root of a times a plus b times b. So let me explain to you guys what all this means. So it's going to take the value of our a and b value and take the square root of the sum of those two product. And then if it's a decimal number, then it'll round, round it up or down according to the tens place. And then now we just have to uh, display it on our screen. We can do that by doing result dot inner HTML equals hypotenuse and then we'll do button dot add event listener click and the name of the function which is calculate hypotenuse so I'm gonna copy that and paste it in here like so and we are done except we just have to move our button over here but that's okay we'll worry about that later so if I type in 3 and 4, it should come out as 5. But the 5 should be inside the triangle, so I can adjust that real quick. So result, result left, 340 pixels. So I can go in the result style and then do left, 340 pixels, and bottom, 100 pixels. And we, we don't have to care about, about our button. We'll just keep it there. It's not that bad looking. So we put in 3 and 4, we should get 5, okay. How about 30 and 40, it should be 50. Yep. And yeah, that wraps it up for the video. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please drop a like and subscribe if you haven't already and share this video. We are so close to 30 subscribers. Let's try and hit that by the end of this week. Also, I want to thank you guys for helping me reach 26 subscribers. Last month I only had 13 or 14 subscribers, so... I want you guys to know how much I appreciate your support for my channel. 
Once again, thanks for watching the video, and I'll see you again in my next video. Have a great day.